I pull up to the warehouse gate just east of the L.A. River and honk the horn. My heart started hammering in my chest about ten minutes ago, and I'm having trouble seeing straight. The wound in my shoulder is still bleeding, soaking through my shirt. I look like I've rolled around on a slaughterhouse killing floor. I really hope Gabriella knows a good back alley doctor. Or better yet, a mage who's a good back alley doctor. Nobody comes out, so I lean on the horn again. They know I'm here. Gabriella keeps snipers on the top floor in case somebody gets through the gate. Normally, she's got three armed men in the parking lot, but today, the lot's empty. If nobody's here, I'm in trouble. Of course, if there is anybody here, I might still be in trouble. Gabriella's one of the more stable mages I know, which isn't saying much. Mages and pragmatism aren't something that usually go together. She might think it's easier to let me bleed out in my car than it is to let me inside. I don't think that will happen. Unlike most mages, Gabriella actually cares about people, whether they're human or not. She had a hotel downtown a while back where she was taking in the supernaturals of Los Angeles. Vampires, Aswang, Naga, Ibugogu, Shana, and so on. We're very multicultural out here. There aren't many, and the ones that can pass for human mostly hide among the homeless, eke out a living on street corners, try not to grab too much attention. Problem is, nobody was going to take a five-foot-tall sorority girl with an advanced sociology degree seriously as a mage protecting homeless vampires. She looks less Morgan Le Fay and more Manic Pixie Dream Girl. Sexism is alive and well in Magic Land. So, she went all Baba Yaga on everybody and made up this ancient withered hag called La Bruja. Carved a swath through the gangs and Mexican mafia in her little corner of downtown. Left calling cards, messages written in blood, skinned corpses, that sort of thing. The whole time, these guys are thinking they're dealing with a hundred-year-old monster witch. Even her own people thought so. Until a bunch of Russian thugs followed me to the hotel and burned the place to the ground. And I kinda got a bunch of her people killed. We didn't talk much after that. Word that she was La Bruja got out fast. Things went south. Chunk of her army bailed. Mexican mafia started sniffing around. A lot of boys who thought they were men had to be forcefully reminded that she was still very much not someone to fuck with. Considering that I've probably brought a pissed-off Aztec god to L.A. looking for revenge, letting me die would really be the best move. I honked the horn again. Longer and louder this time. My vision swims for a second before going clear. My heart's really getting a workout. <laughs>